Hey guys, welcome back to Daybreak. Now you might know this part of Eads Meats out here on McCormick Road, but you might not know this part in here. And this is where we're going to be at today because everybody wants to know where they get their meat from. Well, we're here with the owner, Mr. Melvin Meads. Now, we've got all kinds of different parts of the cow standing in front of me. Right. Now let's start from the beginning because I know later on we're going to be cutting it up and kind of going through the safety precautions that you guys do. But let's just go through what's all this. What's all this? This is called a short loin. This is where the New York steak comes from, the fillet comes from. This is actually a porterhouse steak you're looking at. And then you have porterhouse and as it goes down the loin you have T-bones. This is a bone-in ribeye. That's the prime rib. And this is a, a boneless ribeye. This is an age certified Angus ribeye. We, he, we'll cut that up in a little bit. This is the one we'll be cutting up. Yeah, this we'll cut this one up. Okay. And then I was showing him the difference. This the round steak, luck is a ribeye. The square steak is the New York, which you got the ribeye, the New York, the fillet. That's your three main steaks. Okay. And a sirloin would be your fourth. Well, let's talk about this one for a little bit because yeah. this is the one we're going to be cutting up. Now, what is it doing, just real fast, like what is it working on? What's it working on? This beef is aging in the bag. This is called, this, this purge looking stuff, it's like blood. It's not really blood, it's just the blood, the moisture coming out of the meat, which is drying the meat, which is, makes it more tender, gives it a lot of flavor. All right, well, thank you so much, Melvin. Now, guys, when we come back, we'll be actually taking this out of the package and cutting it up, so be sure to keep watching Daybreak. Guys, back to you in the studio. I love Melvin. He's just one of my favorite <laughs> I'm people. I'm waiting to see if he'll pop in some raw hamburger meat. I know. He stands by his product. He he'll does. do that. It's one way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, there hey, guys, welcome back to Daybreak. We're here at Eads Meats off of McCormick Street. I'm here with the owner, Mr. Melvin Eads, and we've got... Parts of cows. Part of cow. <laughs> it's not just part of a cow. This is a ribeye. This is one of the most famous steaks of anybody in the Panhandle likes. Ribeye is number one steak in the Panhandle. We sell eight out of every ten steaks sold is a ribeye steak. That's the reason these are a choice certified Angus ribeye. I'm just throwing that in. Just throwing that in there. Well, what are you yeah. going to do with it? Like, how but, do you go from this, you know, that to What's out there? What's out there? Okay. Some of the steak, we just, we trim the end off so if there's any aging taste in it, we just trim that off and throw it away. Now what do you mean by aging taste? Aging taste is anything on the outside. We age our beef and so if there's any a little bit of a old taste or anything, it would be in that outside edge. Okay. So I throw that away so you just get the good mellow taste of the meat. This is Look at that, that, how pretty that is. That's got marble in it. Uh, this is a good fed beef. This is certified Angus. This is top choice. This is choice. Now, how can you tell that it's, uh, you know, that that's what you want, that this is the quality right there? The quality? Because it's in the meat. If, if this would be, this would look like jello, red jello, if it didn't have the little white specks in it. Okay. The, the white specks. This is, this is just a... Now from this steak point, steak after steak after steak, yes. From this point, now where do you go? You've where do you got go? these two that look like they're kind of ready to be cooked, uh, correct? Right, they're ready to cook. You can come in and buy them like that, and I'll wrap them up. You can take them home. Okay. Okay. I cut lots of steaks that I just freeze because, and I'll season some of them so you can. Working people just like to thaw them out, throw them on the grill, and they have supper. You can actually thaw one of my steaks out and cold water while you get the grill warm, throw it on the grill and you can have steak in 30 minutes. All right, well let's talk a little bit about the safety here because not, I mean, not safety, but you know, you've got a very clean slate here and if you see over yeah. here, it's very clean over there. I'm sure by the end of the day, it's not well, it's clean. The, it's, it has meat on it like this table would have on it, but the meat is clean, so it's right. still centered. This room is 45 degrees, say below 45 degrees all day. This is, everything is washed, sanitized. We're just like a hospital here. Everything is clean. All right, well thank you so much, Melvin. Now coming up a little bit later on, we're gonna be up in the front, and that's where we're gonna be going through all the different choices. Okay. You know, what all you can get with a cow. So be sure to keep watching Daybreak. We're the only federal inspected plant in Amarillo that sells meat. 
Hey guys, welcome back to Daybreak. We're here at Eads Meets off of McCormick Road, right between Canyon and Amarillo. I'm here next to Melvin Eads. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what your guys are doing in there. It seems like they're putting a lot of paper. They're and putting paper on the floor. That catches the, the grease and uh, keeps it from being slick. Most people don't do that. It's a lot of extra added expense, but it's, it's safe and it's... Uh, you don't slip around on it because you're going to drop a few specks of fat and grease on the floor. So, and I, I want my place as clean as possible. And so that's just an extra additive that we do. And it seems like you found another little trick to put something down on top of it that'll you know help cushion. Oh yeah, yeah. We also put a piece of cardboard, which when you're standing there eight hours a day, it it just cushions it, and then you. Throw it away. It's gone. But it's just cardboard. If you ever have to stand anywhere in one spot for a long time, try just getting some cardboard and standing on it. It's got enough cushion. It's like carpet. It's just, and you just throw it away and it's, you get another clean piece the next day. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the meat that we have in front of us. Now, this is the one that we were cutting up earlier. Right. You were wielding that knife. <laughs> no, I've, now, I've done that for 55 years. Okay. What, um, you said that earlier, you know, this is good quality stuff. Now, how can you tell between the difference between something that's good and something that's bad? Most of the time you can tell by taste. I can tell by looking because this has got the marble in it. It's got the white specks in it. A lot of meat ha doesn't have any, any, they fed. That's the reason you feed grain because we've done it for 60 years around here. We put a lot of money into making a good piece of meat. This is a good piece of meat. These are excellent quality meat. All right. I'll actually eat a piece of this raw if you would like to see that. Yeah, like, I mean, this, right. he's gonna okay. do, he, We talked about it earlier, and he's actually going to eat a piece of it raw. And I said that I was going to do it along with him. Okay. This <laughs> is, I don't know why, but this, I said I would. This meat in the heart is completely sanitary. There's, okay. there's nothing ever touched this except my fingers. That's all. There you go. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> All right, go for it. All right. I mean, this tastes just like a great piece of steak. Do you chew it or do you just swallow it? Just eat it. I mean, it tastes, that's no salt, no pepper. The flavor is wonderful. All right, you didn't lie. Good. I'm just saying. Huh? It could have been bad. No. <laughs> it tastes good. All right, well, thank you so much, Melvin, for waking up so early in the morning with yeah. us. I know that you guys weren't we're even open started. yet. Yeah, we're open right now. This is good. At least you learn a little bit about meat this morning. All right. Well, thank you so much, Melvin. Yeah. Now, guys, if you want to wake up with Jacob, be sure to find me on Facebook at Pro News 7 Jacob Bradford, or you can email me at jbradford at kvii.com. I'd be happy to come out and check out your business or event. So be sure to Facebook message me or email me. Guys, back to you in the studio. Okay. She's he's, having he's, more fun. Oh, I love it. He's going to eat it. <laughs> he did. He does it to himself, though. Like, I know. Yeah. I just want to emphasize that because people come up to me all the time. They're like, yeah. oh, Jeff, poor poor Jeff 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 Hart. Jeff. No, not. He no. picks these spots he does himself. It himself. So, and congrats. I, you know, eating raw meat at 7 a.m. Way to go, Jacob. <laughs> That's my man. Yeah. Mm. Time to recap.